Hey, what's up, boys? Today I'm gonna be showing you how you can edit like a pro editor. So, firstly, you wanna just sync up all of your clips that you have. I basically did it, like so. It goes with the beat. It drops on the beat. So now what you want to do is basically you wanna cut on the kill, or maybe five frames before, so you can just use the weird line. to go where you want it to be but you want to zoom like more in so you can get see the clip better right now basically what you have you have like basically you have the build up so now you're gonna right click on the clip you're gonna press show clip keyframes timer mapping and speed then you're gonna go to the left of this where your clip is and then you're gonna press alt and scroll up with your mouse. Now you're gonna pull the line down here of how much you want. I go usually 65. Now you zoom it back down to make it easier. Now you press unlink so it doesn't give you that weird red thing which can ruin up your clip and the sound. So now this is basically what you got. You got a small slow mo there. Now basically what we come up to is the effects themselves, right? So basically what you're gonna do is cut like around 20 frames before the clip itself. And you need um you need Lumetri Color Sapphire and BCC. Um, for this, I will link all of the videos down there. So basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add Lumetri color, and you add it to the clip. I'm gonna send the preset to this, so it's gonna be much easier. But I'm just gonna show you how to do it if you don't want to do it with a preset. So you're gonna Lumetri color, basic correction, saturation. You turn this weird clock on. And then you move two keyframes to the right, and you go here and you type in 95, and you keep on doing that with five units lower. Until you hit like around maybe 60, or maybe even 40. 40 is the better one, that's the point where you really want it to be. I might even just go 35. So now that you basically did this, this is what you now have. That's basically what you have now. So I'll make this into a preset right after the video and I'll link it in the description if you want it easier. So now the main part is you just first might want to render it. It's much better, you can work easier with it. Right, now the main part of it is going to be um, the effect of the first kill. So it, we're going to maybe, let's see the clip itself first, it depends like what you're going to use. So I would use maybe, like, a friend gave me a shake, I'll use his shake probably. So the wave shake, I'll link him in the description too. Some BCC color correction if needed. If it bugs like this, wait. If it bugs like that, wait. Uh, I need to move my effect tab. For some people, the effect tab will be here. I accidentally deleted it, so um, yeah, don't wonder. If it does that, do not do, do not add it. So you want this? You see, like without the shakes. Yeah. So without like the one million shakes basically happening. And then you can add um, a yarn shake. I have my own version of it. 
which I will also link in the description because I'm actually not allowed to give you that. And then basically what you have is this. Wait, actually, let's render it first. It looks much better. That's basically what you have now. Now, you want to go to the next clip, which you can add a transition to. So I use mine, uh, Crowd Swish Fan, it's my favorite transition of all. I have much more of a lake, it's the best. It just slides into the next one. Now, you want to cut on the kill like before, a lobe like right before maybe. Um, okay. And then you like you add you like you need to get this out. Or no let's leave that for now. I'll just do a transition. Uh okay. So now basically what you have is like this cut the clip again. Now you're gonna right click again, show keyframes, timer mapping, speed, zoom up. Go lower to like 61 maybe on this clip. It's a like slower clip. Press on link again. Then you watch it. Yeah, that's nice. So if it bugs kind of, you can just like do this, I guess. I think it's a little bit longer than So I don't like it that long, so I'm just gonna do this. Great. So now what you have is like a slow mo clip, and now you're just gonna um, go like a little bit before cut. You're gonna take the. Um, um, I'm gonna also link this um, effect in it. You're gonna make the thing go down by just basically going one keyframe to the right and going five units down with opacity. You find opacity on the basic effect control, by the way. And you also need to press the thingy. I'm just gonna link it in the description, it's much easier. With the thingy, I mean the clock, right? Oh, oops. 15. Yeah, so you go all the way down to 30. So now what you have is this, basically. That's what you have now. You could leave it like this. It looks pretty okay. But I'm gonna go with my impact maybe. Let's see what looks good on it. I'll link all of it in the description then. We could maybe go for the pink low. Yeah, that looks nice. So now this is what you have. That's what I'm gonna take. Yeah, surely. So you can also maybe take my god shake, but that's optional because there's already a shake on it. Now you want to render it just to look how it looks completely. Now you're gonna add the transition because I I could just pull it works just fine too and then add the transition. It's optional. So you add the switch pan. Now this is what you will have to turn God's transition. So I'm gonna cut on the clip again. This time there's not gonna be like anything on the front. All what you're gonna do here is basically cut until in next marker, whatever you want. You're gonna do the timer mapping again. Show keyframe, timer mapping, speed. Oh, oops. Go higher and then move this down to 65. Unlink. And if the audio works, yeah, you're gonna move the audio as long as the clip goes. So now, this is what you have. 
But this is not what you really want. You're gonna add my VHS. Now it kind of gives like a darker texture if you add something to it. So now we're gonna add my, um, maybe the pink and pack, it depends how it looks on the clip. That looks pretty nice. So you're just gonna render the selection so you can work with it. And then you basically have that. Now what you can also do is add my normal kill effect. It's like just for normal kills, I guess. Yeah. Nothing special. And if you want, like, you can do the saturation thing that we have here again. So, now basically that you have all of that, you're good to go, basically. You could, now this is like for people who have AE and stuff, you could add like the numby type item to thing. I will also link in the description if you want. So, let me just import it. Um, okay, let me actually uh, do something else. I will do the Nami thing though. The Nami looks much better, I think, in my opinion. I'll link the Nami one. So you just import it, you wait till the composition one comes, and then you add it and cut to where you want it to end. And then you render it, and this is what you have. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna be linking everything in the description. And yeah, have a good day, boys.